What's going on everybody? I hope everybody's having an awesome day today. We're going to be talking about how to create a stock scanner that works for you. And a stock scanner that can uh, show pre-market gappers and stocks that are moving somewhat throughout the day. So let's jump into this video here. It's very, very simple. So we're on Think or Swim here. And how you get to this uh, scan tab, it's super easy. All you gotta do is just click scan. Most of the time you're gonna be on charts and obviously uh, we made a ton of videos talking about the types of setups I use for my charts. But now let's click scan. So once you click scan, we'll have um, probably some sort of default layout uh, for you. But what you wanna do is you can either create your own scanner or you can create or you can just use ones that they already have so pretty much what you got to do here is click this three line um, this three line uh, like little kind of this menu tab and now you're gonna want to go to loan scan care I can't even say query so now from here you can either go to a public one and now this has all of those um, percent gainers losers gap down up uh, market you know uh, market maker move stocks uh, new yearly highs new yearly lows upcoming dividends upcoming er earnings uh, upcoming splits so pretty much just right here you get a good overall direction of you know what type of scan you want to use so if you want to create a gap scanner you can literally just use the one that they have and now one once you click that it automatically puts in everything you need so then you just click scan and then you can uh, just filter everything out from here but if you want to create your own which I would highly recommend because then you can you know fine tweak it and you can you know change stuff this is what I would do guys so pretty much I would exit out all of these all right, so I would leave the study one up here just because we're going to use it. But if you want to exit it out and just start fresh, that is fine. So now we're going to go to add study filter. So now here we want to find one with a uh, price performance. So we want a, where'd it go? We want it to be gapping up, which is good. And now, now this one is up to you. If you want to have the current bars, um, close our current bars from the close open or low or volume or VWAP you can put in whatever but we're just gonna put in um, we're gonna put in from the previous close so then we're gonna want it gaps up the strategy I use I like to have it gap up at least four and a half percent or more from the uh, previous we can do from the previous close so now we can scan it and now we can just see um, stocks that are still moving. So now is where you can start adding more things. We just want to make sure that this scanner is looking good. You know, it has um, all the stocks that are moving throughout the day. You know, CIFS was a main mover. So now we're going to want to um, mess with a couple of other information here. We're going to want to go to add filter for the stock. So now we can pretty much just start adding in um, either the price, the volume, or the percent change. We can just add in everything. But we're just going to see if we can add in the price difference. So we can just go to, let's just go to ask here. And let's go the minimum we want. Let's go 250 and then the maximum depending on your account you can either leave in the 10,000 but I'm gonna change that because we want to filter out some of these stocks here so I'm just gonna put in 15 um, and then let's scan it again that's because we want to get this down to at least probably 20 or 30 and then we then that is when we will manually um, you know start looking at these stocks here so this will always take a little quick minute to load um, so now we filtered out um, the the prices so what you want to do as well is you can pretty much just play with it but we're just, let's just add the some volume because we, we want to get rid of 
um, you know, stocks with super light volume, and we want stocks with a little higher because stocks with volume um, move. So I believe it was towards the bottom here. So then you just click in volume. So we're just gonna add a minimum of, now this is 100% up to you, but I'm just gonna add 200,000. Is that 20,000 or 200? We need to add another zero, there we go. So now let's scan it. So now we're slowly filtering out these stocks, guys. Slowly filtering out these stocks here. Now, I wish that there was a way for me to add a uh, float because float is a huge, huge, um, in, a huge, huge factor when it comes to trading, but obviously it does not have it. So pretty much what you're gonna have to do is just base um, the, the volume and the in the percent move and kind of figure out how many shares they have available because if that's say a stock with with all of this volume right here is not moving then you can get a good idea of the stock has a higher float you know and so on and so on so you go you guys can figure that out but i would prefer just to have one um similar to trade ideas this is trade idea scanner i know this isn't the main part of this video guys but as you guys can see you can see how they have the uh, float right here. So I know uh, CIFS has roughly 5.7 million shares traded, or not shares traded, has 5.7 shares available to trade. So I can get a good idea of okay, it has higher volume and it's a previous runner, it has a low float. This stock has a chance to move up, which I want. So now I can't really you know mess with that but let's save this for right now so pretty much how you do that is just you go to save as, as so you can just save it as gap up that is fine um so now once you save it whoops that's just, i think i already have one saved so let's just go to gappers gap gappers today so now let's click save it should work now all right so now we have that saved now let's go back to the charts here so what you want to do is you want to click this little pop out tab and you want to go to create watch list and you can either create one down here or you can just i believe that they should automatically start you with one but if you don't know how to do it it's super easy you just click add this little plus button and then click watch list so once you get that um, pulled up it'll look something similar to this so what you want to do is you're going to want to click uh, this tab right here and then go to personal and then find the one that you make. So we're going to pull up gappers today. So now what I always like to do is I always like to customize these little tabs here. So we're going to just get rid of uh, the net change and we're going to put the percent change. All right. So now once that's good, then you just click OK. Um, and now you can pretty much just you know mess with it here You can bump this out a little more if you need it, you know, it's a hundred percent up to you um, So now you can pretty much just filter these stocks here uh, From you know what what has happened so it looks like the volume or the um, price did not register here, so uh, what you could do is you could just, you know, kind of just cancel out the stocks that um, don't look as good. So as you guys can see, uh, that one's too too small here. This one, CL or CIFS, stock we traded today, beautiful upward pattern here, um, and it just it looks pretty, it looks strong. So you know you can definitely make a, a scanner that works. But I wonder why. It didn't um, register. Oh, I, I, we clicked the ask size. Let's just click bid. So I would prefer to have this uh, looking good for you guys. So let's go to um, let's go to 2.5, and then let's go 15. 15. Okay. So now let's click scan. All right, that looks better. Let's look at these. 
Ask bid. Okay. All right. So that looks better, guys. So now let's resave it. I'm sorry about that. So save. Save. Yes. Man, it's like really slow. Okay. So now we're going to want to go back to charts. And then now it looks like it should be it should be good. So uh, as you guys can see, CIFS top gapper. Then we had IGCC gapping up beautiful um you know beautiful uh scanner that works great for you know day trading now you can always just leave this active and then you can um pretty much just either detach it you can do whatever you want to it guys and i would just kind of fine tune it find something that works for you so this is just pretty much a, how to create a gap scanner so stocks that are moving because gappers always have a high number of volume uh, you know people trading it it's a, it's a great thing to just look for guys it's great so I hope you guys enjoy this video please sure to like subscribe comment if you are new and we're gonna be streaming our trade idea scanner literally hopefully almost 24 7 uh, so if you guys enjoy that then drop a huge subscribe if you don't want to go through the hassle of making your own I already have scanners um, available for you guys to trade so it's literally um not a big deal at all and so i hope you guys enjoyed it remember to always stay happy stay positive and i hope you guys have a fantastic uh, rest of the week and i'll see you guys tomorrow bright and early take care peace out